Today we're reviewing the Baofeng DM1701. The build quality seems decent. The top control knobs could be a little beefier but are adequate. Uh, the belt clip is attached to the battery and not the radio itself, meaning if the battery button is pushed, the battery stays on the belt, the radio doesn't. The battery that comes with it is 7.4 volts, 2200 milliamp, and no, it's not compatible with any other Baofeng units, except for this one. The base charger is slightly larger than the other Baofengs I've owned, and uses a 1 amp charger compared to the other ones that are 0.5. Uh, the charge on the battery easily lasts a day on standby with light use. The volume on the lowest setting is a bit high. It's not screaming loud, but certainly louder on the low than I would like. Incoming audio is crisp and analog and decent in digital. Audio reports for transmissions have been good in both digital and analog modes. The manual that comes with it is long and virtually useless. No real index, and the manual doesn't match the firmware that even came with the radio. Uh, there is a new firmware that I've installed that does uh, allow showing of names that are associated with IDs. Programming is pretty simple, much improved over the other uh, over this classic UV5 series. You can change almost all the settings on the fly, except for the DMR functions. Have to use a computer for that. Still have not figured out how to program groups for DMR from the face of the radio. I ended up using a Linux program that downloads a text file for editing. Same goes for the ID of the unit. Um, starting to think it's just not possible without a computer. It is a truly Tier 2 compliant radio, confirmed using a re local repeater that supports both time slots, uh, which is a vast improvement over the classic UV5D that claimed to be Tier 2, but transmitted on both time slots whenever keyed up, annoying every repeater operator out there. The screen is full color and light years advanced from the UV5 line. Easy to read in uh, dark shanty lighting, okay in the sun. Um, they have changed how the programming cable works. It's now got a TTL converter in the radio, not in the cable. Translation, it takes a cable that looks almost the same as other biofangs, waxons, etc., but it's totally different. And finally, not a complaint per se, but it has a masculine voice, which for some reason, the low voice is not as fun. Don't get me wrong, it's understandable, just missing the fun factor. On the positive note of the voice, it makes it more business-like. But all in all, the uh, DM1701 is a great radio and uh, not a bad purchase. Relatively cheap and uh, available throughout.